welcome to our weekly kids time. Now would be a great time to grab a parent or a grandparent and a Bible as we get ready to dive into God's word today. My name is Ellen and I am so excited to learn with you. Let's open our imaginations and let these Bible stories come to life. God works in your life and in mine and in the lives of the people in the Bible. So let's get ready to listen to their stories. Today, we're going to be listening to the story of Sarah. So we're going to turn to, again to the first book of the Bible called Genesis. And we're going to turn to the number 12. Sarah was an old woman. She didn't have any children. In Bible times, it was really important to have children. If you were a parent, when you got old, your kids had to take care of you. If you didn't have kids, you might not have somebody to take care of you. Kids were in charge of taking care of their parents. For a woman, it was especially important to have lots of children. Women belonged to the man of the house. So when they were little girls, they first belonged to their father. Then when they got married, they would belong to their husband. And if their husband passed away before them, then they belonged to their son and he would be responsible for taking care of them. Not having a son was really hard for Sarah. It made Sarah very sad. Not only did Sarah not have a son, but God had made a huge promise to her husband, Abraham. God told Abraham that his family would be more than the stars in the sky and more than the sand at the beach. Imagine a beach with me. Can you count every tiny, tiny piece of sand? Or let's picture a dark night sky. Can you count all the stars in the sky? No. God had made this promise to Abraham, but Sarah didn't even have any kids. How could they have such a large family without even one child of their own? And Sarah was 90 years old. When your mom had you, she wasn't 90. And Abraham was 99 years old. When your dad first held you, he wasn't 99 years old. When Sarah heard that God would give her a child at 90 years old, what do you think she did? She laughed. Sarah had wanted a baby for so long. How could she get her hopes up now when God's promise to her and Abraham seemed like it couldn't come true? Let's imagine with Sarah. She hears the angel of the Lord tell Abraham that at 90, she's going to have a baby. When Sarah hears this news, she has the same dream in her head that she's had all her life. She pats her stomach and thinks about it being big and round with a kicking baby inside. She pictures holding her baby and kissing its forehead and telling it, God made you so special. She pictures playing with her child and teaching her child about life and watching him or her grow up. She's dreamed this dream for so long. Could it finally come true, even if it seemed impossible? Guess what? Her dream came true. Sarah had a baby at 90 years old. Sarah gave birth to Isaac the child of the promise to Abraham. And his name means son of laughter because Sarah laughed when she heard the news. First, she laughed in sadness as she remembered her dream that she's had for so long. And now she laughs in joy because God answered her prayers. God had already made the promise that Abraham and Sarah would be part of the big special family. God invited Sarah to give him her dreams so that he could make it a part of his beautiful plan. Through Jesus, we are also part of God's big special family. This week, let's pray together again. Jesus, 
I'd like to work with you today. And let's add in this week, Lord, thank you for making me a part of your big special family. God has given us special families too. At dinner or at bedtime this week or some other time when you're together with your family, tell your mommy or your daddy or your grandparents why you like being a part of your family. See you next week. <laughs>